Hi, hi, hi. Hi there. How you doing? Jenny Stevens here. Welcome. So I'm going to be covering a topic today where I really want to tell you three questions that you must answer before you build a personal brand. So I'm really kind of excited to be talking about um, personal branding this week. And I'm going to be sharing with you at the end um, something really cool that you might find really interesting. Um, but building a personal brand is really, really important. Um, but before we get stuck into that, if you're coming in live, then just drop a comment below. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me see where you are around the world. And if you're watching the replay, just type in replay. And also let me know where you're from. And I'll make sure that I go back and say hi and give a little and you know kind of reply to your comment and say hi so yeah just kind of want to say hello to everybody who's coming in live or watching the replay thank you very much for joining me i'm going to try and keep this short and sweet um but yeah i want to talk about personal branding this week um it's a topic that's really it's really important and i think a lot of the time when we think about branding you think about logos you think about color schemes and all that kind of stuff so who agrees with that who kind of things? Just drop a one below if, you know, what you think about when it comes to a brand. You know, just let me know your your thoughts if you're watching live, if you're watching the replay. Just let me know what your thoughts are on what a brand kind of means to you. <clears throat> but if you're thinking about personal branding, so before I get into these three questions, then I just want to kind of go over what, um, why you want to build a personal brand. So building a personal brand is really, that in essence is your business. If you don't have your own brand and you're building yourself, you really don't have much of a business because people are going to be connecting to you. People are going to be, you know, relating to you and who you are. You know, we all relate to different kinds of people. Some of you watching might relate to me more than what you might do somebody else. Maybe you are a woman and you prefer you know, connecting with women. Maybe you're someone who's in their thirties and you prefer speaking to someone who's in their thirties like me, you know, maybe from the UK, you know, like I know I like, you know, there's certain people that I just know I will connect to better than others. So when you're talking about your business and why you're building it and how you're building it, people, you know, people buy and join people, not necessarily products and companies, you know, they will, they'll buy into you because they get to know, like, and trust you and feel like you're connected with, with, you know, with you. So it's really important to develop a personal brand and say, but these three questions that you need to ask yourself to just kind of make sure you understand what it is that your brand is. So the first one is you want to ask yourself what it is that you stand for. So have a think about that. So what what does it you know, what do you stand for? Um, if you want people to get to know, like and trust you, then you really, to, you know, you want to be able to let them know what's important to you. Um, you know, what what um, you know, what do you kind of stand up and say? What do you help people with? What do you passionate about? Let people inside of that of you to, to really understand yeah, well, these things are important to me. And that's why I'm really passionate about, you know, helping others with it. Maybe you have, a, you know, your own kind of personal reasons for doing something. Um, you know, it's, that's really going to help connect to people if they know that, okay, well, maybe you have joined a certain company because of their mission and that's really important to you. Or maybe, you know, you've gone through so much struggle and I don't know, you have gone through something terrible and now, you know, you're really passionate about ensuring that other people don't go through that, you know. So just really kind of have a think about what you're clear, you know. And also, you know, you, you want to really understand that so that you know and other people in your audience understand that you're not just in this for money you know it's about that like, you care you know so if it's certain products it's about health you know maybe you lost a family member to some health issues or something um you know and i know when i first got started my network marketing business people some of my friends were saying oh you know you're only saying that this product is great because you sell it and i was like no that's not right it's the other way around i sell it because I love it and it's great. You know, I didn't join my company back, you know, three years ago because 
I thought, hey, um, I'm going to make loads of money with this. I thought, oh, I love this product. And if I love it, then maybe some others too. And yeah, it'd be great to have a bit of extra money. But, you know, obviously that was before I really even knew about really what network marketing can do. Um, you know, in terms of the residual income, it was like, I'd be happy with an extra hundred pound a month, you know? So, and I kind of, you know, that was something that I wanted people to understand was that I'm not sharing these products because it's all about money. I'm sharing it because I think it's really great stuff and you might do too. So, you know, really never promote something that you're not passionate about, that you're not behind, you know, people want to know that you've tried it that you know and that's the thing with network marketing it's all word of mouth isn't it it's word of mouth marketing because they want to hear especially if you're you know people want to hear real results they want to hear real views you know you think about anything that you see online people will be skeptical sometimes about what they see online and you always want to be able to look at you know if it's on facebook and you see these you know like clothes or i don't know some crazy gadget that's going to you know chop up your onions better and not make you cry or whatever <laughs> then you look for the comment because you want to see has somebody got this and no is it legit you know it does it really do what it's going to say so you want to be able to stand behind you know your products then the second thing is then what do you stand against so again have a think about the opposite in terms of is there something that you really hate you know are you seeing people doing something a certain way and you just really aren't for that you know um is there something that really kind of you just I'm not going to do that. That's just not me. That's not who I am. Um, everyone else who's doing that crack on, you know. So, again, you know, be OK with the fact that you're different. You want to be different. You want to stand out from the crowd. You want to be distinguish yourself as somebody else, you know, that's not just, you know, robotic, um, you know, just going along cookie cutter all the way, you know. Um, so is this, I hope this is making sense for you anyway. So just, you know, give me some likes and loves if this is helping and you're kind of thinking, yep, I'm getting this. I want to make sure that you're, that you're understanding. Um, so, you know, your audience want to hear what it is that, you know, you don't like seeing, you know, you don't, you don't like, you know, like I know when I was in network marketing, I really didn't like the whole kind of blitzing you know going out talking to people on the street just adding random people as friends who i never had any intentions of talking to um you know kind of just being really desperate with um sales and stuff and that was something that i stood against i was like i don't want to do that i don't want to come across and i don't want to be this you know spammy marketer who is pissing people off you know and i'm sure i, I know i did piece, piece people off but you know i wasn't necessarily doing everything that everybody else was because i could see even from me i was like oh that i don't i don't like that so i'm not going to follow along with that so again have a think about things that you stand against um you know it, say it could be things that are personal to you say maybe um you've got really strong feelings about something um you know, but it's OK to kind of be be out and say, you know, I really stand against this. <coughs> um, and things like that, because there's going to be other people that relate to that. And if you have some people that, you know, you get some backlash from people and they're like, oh, what are you doing? Well, they're not who you want to deal with. They're not who you want to work with. And they're probably not going to buy from you anyway. So I was going to swear there, but I won't. But, you know, just forget them. Because this is about you and you want to have people that, you know, connect and relate to you. So if you have some strong feelings and beliefs and, you know, certain feelings about things that you stand for or against, be OK with that. and Be OK that not everybody might be, you know, loving it and wanting to join you because you want to find people that are like you. And, you know, you get to choose who that you work with, especially when it comes to your business. So, you know, and let's say those people are probably never going to buy from you anyway, and you really shouldn't care. Um, so I say this is really about separating yourself. So kind of have a look at, OK, well, what things do you stand for? What do you stand against? And be OK with not being like everybody else. I say if everybody just does exactly the same thing all the time, then nobody's going to be different. You know, those people that really shine and those people that, 
you know, maybe have loads of engagement on their social media or, you know, their videos have crazy views, these videos that go viral. Something's different, you know, they're entertaining or maybe they're doing something silly, you know. Um, I keep trying, you know, I sometimes sort of hold myself back a bit when I should just be silly. Say, I, I swear I laugh at myself. I do silly stuff. Um, and sometimes I think, especially when it comes to business and doing businessy things, it's very easy to just be like, oh, yes, I'm a professional woman. But you know what? It's, you know, it's OK to be you. You are amazing as you are. So be OK like that. and Don't feel like you need to hide yourself. And then the third thing is then. Um, where is it? Just find my notes. The third one is then. Who are you talking to? So this is something that I drum drum in and, you know, I go on about all the time because you really need to understand who it is that you're talking to. So, you know, it's called, you might have heard the term target market or a customer avatar. This is something that's absolutely crucial to do, especially in the beginning. But if you haven't, if you don't know who it is that you're targeting, then, you know, there's never too late. It's never too too late to um, to get started and know about it. And this one piece alone can massively change how you talk to people, how your engagement maybe happens on social media, how much more response you might get. Because when you really truly understand who it is that you're talking to, you are going to know what to say more. So a couple of things to really think about. So you want to understand your, you know, so who, so what's your, you know, obviously what your industry is, you know, who's your niche that you're going after? If it's kind of, if it's mums, if it's people that work full time, if it's um, people with health issues, if, it, if it's, I don't know, makeup lovers, whatever your niche is then think right okay this is my niche you know not it's not everybody is your prospect because that's crap it's this is my niche so who is it what do these people look like what are they struggling with so that's the biggest thing it's, <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's uh what you know what are they struggling with mm. sorry a little frog in my throat um, you know, what, what pains are they feeling? What kind of keeps them up at night? What, you know, what are they stressed about? What would, you know, so what, what are those pains and struggles that they're going through right now? So people just got low confidence, low self-esteem. If they hate looking in the mirror and seeing fat body and I don't know, clothes not fitting, or maybe they, um, you know, they're getting on a bit, you know, and they're worried about not being around for their kids or their grandkids or, you know, maybe if it's kind of skin, you've got awful skin and it's really just knocking your confidence and you feel like you have to cover up with all this makeup when really you just, you know, you just want to be not have anything on, but just give your skin freedom and feel confident. Um, so just really kind of have a think about what those people are feeling in that kind of negative before state. And then your job as a marketer is to get them from this before state and bring them over to the after state. So what is it going to, how are they going to feel when they've got that result, when they've solved that problem to that pain that you're just identifying? So what are their dreams? What are their desires? What are their goals? What are their successes? What do they look like? And how are they going to feel when they've got that? And when you link the before and the after, your product or your opportunity or your service is that vehicle to get them from A to B. And that really is what is going to help you. And then you as a personal brand, you're the person that's going to show them how to do that. So really focus on that kind of before and after state. Um, I say, and, and when you've kind of got this idea, right, OK, well, this type of people they have this kind of list of pains and struggles. This is kind of how they feel. This is their crap um, with what they're going through and what they feel like. This is where they want to get to. And this is what they want to feel like when they get to that. What's it going to do for them? What's it going to do for their life? How is it going to change them? 
you know, and with that. And then, you know, so it could be things that they want to become stress-free. They want to have clear skin. They want to feel amazing in that little black dress for Christmas. They, you know, they don't want to have any debt anymore, credit card debt. Um, you know, they're sick of being in a job they hate, you know, things like that. So then you've kind of got this idea of what your target market and your customer avatar looks like, you know, okay, then you could go even deeper in terms of, okay, well, is there a certain age range? Is there a certain, you know, is a certain gender more specific? Um, and things like that. So then you, you've basically got this, the customer avatar is like a fictional character of all of this together. You can give her a name, you can give them a story, um, you know, really kind of dive into that. But this is when you know who it is that you're talking to. And when you really know who you're talking to, it's going to make your message so much easier for you to construct. So when you're trying to think about, okay, well, what can I say in my videos? What can I say in my Facebook posts? What can I say in my emails? What can I say in my blog posts? How am I going to connect to people? Well, you talk about the pains and you talk about, you know, I kind of know what you're feeling right now. I get it. Um, I felt it too. And then I found, you know, I found a way to be able to get me away from that. And now I feel, feel like this. And if you want to know more, you can click on this link and, you know, you can then send them to um, maybe some cool tips that you've got or send them to a product page or, you know, to book in a call with you, you know, whatever. But it's this is about you and it's you being able to show people who you are, what you stand for what you stand against and really know who it is that you're talking to. And when you get those three questions and when you get that clear in your mind, now you've got this personal brand that you really kind of understand what it is that you do and how you can help people and who you can help. And it's going to make it so much clearer for you. So I really hope this helped. If this has made sense and this, you've kind of got it. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Yep. I really get this. Then just drop a five below. Just give me a high five. If you liked this, if you found this useful, feel free to tag anyone or share this video with anybody that you might find useful. And I'm going to talk more about branding, personal branding. So tomorrow night is mine and my friends, a weekly marketing masters hangout. So every single Wednesday we get together and we cover a certain topic. There's four of us, like a panel of experts that get together and just give you our kind of success tips, what things have worked for us, what we know can help you. Um, so tomorrow we're talking about branding in much more detail. Obviously, I've just kind of given a very quick, you know, bit of an overview in terms of the beginning, in terms of how you start a personal brand. But we're going to go into more detail about this. Um, so just drop a yes in the comments below if you uh, would like to come onto that and I'll make sure I send you the link. It's like a link that you have to, you have to use that link to watch live. Um, so you can get that. But if you'd really, at the moment, if you want to just kind of get started and learn more about how you can create a personal brand and then really, you know, talk to your, your target market in a much better way and set yourself up as an expert and somebody that people listens to, then I put a link in the description above. It's going to take you to a free online recruiting bootcamp, which really goes over how you take your business online. You create this personal brand. And as I say, really just help you be able to connect to your prospects much quicker to be able to then make more sales, recruit more teammates and really build your own personal brand full of, you know, adoring fans that absolutely love you because of who you are and what you stand for so grab that link it's absolutely free um, it's the exact same thing that I went through and what really helped me change my business so I just want to share that with you so you can get some amazing great free training as well so that's it I hope this has helped um, so if you are watching the replay then just let me know where you've been watching from and I'll make sure that I go back afterwards and you know reply to all of your comments and uh Say, so let me know how, you know, if this makes sense. And you're like, yeah, I get this. I really want to know more. So anyway, have a great rest of the day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.